Hello and welcome to Around the Air Force. I'm Senior Airman Renee Carberry. Airmen hoping to apply for a special duty assignment may want to double check on the selection process as 10 special duties are now subject to a nomination process. Chief Master Sergeant of the Air Force James Cody explains. So this nominative process would give us an opportunity for the Air Force leadership to be able to look at their airmen at given points in the year, we'll be doing it twice a year, this nominative process, where they could kind of look at an individual airman and say, hey, we believe you would be good at, you pick which of the 10 AFSCs or multiple AFSCs that they might have an aptitude or ability where they could be successful. And it really is about picking the very best of our airmen to do these special duties as they have broad reaching impact on the entire Air Force. For more information on the changes, visit the MyPERS website. The Air Force is stepping up its game when it comes to addressing the issue of sexual assault by implementing two new measures. Airmen found guilty of sexual assault, whether by administrative or punitive action, will now face mandatory discharge. Actions taken on these cases will also be subject to review by a Brigadier General or higher. For more information on this story, visit AFLINK. The HC-130J Combat King II is a technologically advanced C-130 model scheduled to replace the nearly 50-year-old fleet of HC-130Ps Air Force-wide. Senior Airman Lindy Pata takes us to Moody Air Force Base, Georgia for the arrival of the first of nine HC-130Js. The first of nine new HC-130J Combat King II aircraft arrive at Moody Air Force Base. Today marks a day in history for the rescue community at Moody. Major General Palumbo speaks on the importance of the arrival. This is a big deal to bring in the new equipment that the United States Air Force has coming into an, its inventory onto a base like Moody Air Force Base where we've had such great community support for so many years. Your actions matter in bringing this equipment to bases like this. Former U.S. Senator from Georgia, Sam Nunn, is at Moody Air Force Base officially introducing the new Combat King. I'm thrilled to be here for the arrival of the most advanced and powerful fixed wing combat rescue aircraft in the world. I'm thrilled to be able to see Moody after not visiting for a few years. From April 2010 to April 2012, the 71st Rescue Squadron flew nearly 1,800 sorties, saved 1,560 lives, and made 2,070 assists. Our combat kings have been a steadfast and highly demanded asset to combatant commanders continually providing critical capabilities in austere and hostile locations. Continuously executing combat and civilian search and rescue efforts and personnel recovery operations, the Combat King II is sure to be a force multiplier for tomorrow's Air Force. Senior Airman Lindy Pata, Moody Air Force Base, Georgia. Airmen from the 8th Air Support Operations Squadron teamed up with U.S. and Italian Army paratroopers for a joint Chinook para-jumping training exercise in Maniago, Italy. Airman First Class Josh Blackburn has a story. Stand by. Soldiers of the 173rd Airborne Brigade Combat Team gathered at Maniago, Italy with plenty of water, two CH-47 Chinook helicopters, and one mission. We're working on currency, we're working on proficiency of our jumpers and our leaders. So we're getting good work with our guys acting as jump masters, acting as safeties. And we're also gaining proficiency in rigging techniques, individual paratrooper skills. Airmen of Aviano joined the jump day along with a few other organizations. The UCR team is getting stronger. The 12th tab is down here flying for us. And we're also out here with our Italian partners. So we are strengthening relationships there. Uh, that are going to pay off in the future. Two days of training, endless hours of preparation, and a few helicopter refuels amounted to a strengthening of military preparedness and relations between two NATO countries. Airman First Class Josh Blackburn, Maniago, Italy. To find additional information on these and other stories, visit the Air Force's official website, AFLINK. You can also listen to Air Force Radio News online. Just scroll over the News tab at the top of the page and select Radio. From the Air Force Broadcasting Service at Fort Meade, Maryland, I'm Senior Airman Renee Carberry. Thanks for watching.